from around the globe. It's the Cube with digital coverage of AWS reInvent 2020. Sponsored by Intel and AWS. Hello everyone and welcome back to theCUBE's continuing coverage of AWS reInvent 2020 virtual, the CUBE virtual. We're here covering the partner ecosystem and some of the new innovations coming from the reInvent community. Let's talk about something that anyone who drives a vehicle can relate to, roadside assistance with me are Beth Davidson, who's the Chief Marketing Officer at Ajero and Raj Bahara, who's the Vice President and CTO at Ajero. Folks, welcome to theCUBE. Hello, nice to see you. So Beth, let's start with you. Maybe talk a little bit about uh, your, your mission, how you work with automakers. You got you know, a lot of good pipeline there, insurers and other, others in, in the ecosystem. Tell us about the company. Absolutely. So for 50 years, we've been helping consumers with their cars. Um, that's what it comes down to. Uh, we know that one in three people uh, has a roadside event every year. Um, and the way you think about that is, you know, if in three years you haven't had a roadside event, TikTok, you know, statistically it's coming for you. Um, we work with everybody. Uh, we work with the auto manufacturers. We work with the insurers. What we're trying to do is get closer to consumers. Um, and the reason you may have never heard of Ajero is that's by design. We're white label. We work for our clients typically, um, and you know they trust us with their consumers. They trust us with their brands, um, and we are just in the business of getting consumers back on the road. Thank you for that. So, Raj, talk talk a little bit about um, how you approach this problem. I mean, you looked at roadside assistance, and it, you know we yeah. can again all relate. Oh, am I up to date or I've leased the car. So there's got to be some kind of 800 number in my glove compartment somewhere, right? So what was the state of roadside assistance, you know, before you guys got involved and, and maybe we can get into sort of how you solve the problem. Yeah, I think that's a great question, Dave. Um, as we look at roadside assistance, everyone thinks about picking up the phone number, 800 number from your glove box compartment. And over the years we have invested heavily on bringing a fully digital experience uh, to our um, customers from insurance companies to OEMs. And when this Alexa opportunity came up earlier this summer, we said, hey, how about taking that digital experience, adding all the Alexa goods, goods about voice interaction, making it very uh, interactive for the users to request that experience in a very normal uh, consumer friendly, friendly way. And brought that, we integrated all those services, brought that whole Uber-like experience with, uh, for roadside assistance. Yeah, now, so Beth, you know, I reminded when like the smart TV first came out and you had to type in, right? And, and we're really getting spoiled now. It should be easy as a blink. Okay, so you're unveiling yeah. blink. You know, what's this service all about? So this service is about, you know, trying to get to consumers as easy as we can and getting, removing the friction, right? So what Raj was just talking about is, again, we ask consumers, we say, you know, imagine that tomorrow you went out and there was a flat tire on your car in your driveway. What do you do? And universally they pause and they're like, oh, I don't know, I haven't thought about it, right? And then they start making up stuff like, yeah, maybe I'm going to go through the glove box. Maybe I'm going to go through my files. Um, but wouldn't it be great if they could just kind of talk to the air and say, Alexa, what do I do? Um, and have it work for them, you know? And that's one friction. The second friction is consumers actually don't know their addresses or don't know it well. And we joke around the office about the difference between saying you're on route one and route one A is, is the difference between 20 minutes of that tow truck getting to you in time. <laughs> um, you know, these are points of friction that technology can help us with, you know, and then with payments, even better, right? So the fact that you can pay for this thing with Amazon pay and you don't have to worry about having cash for a driver or have a credit card. I mean, there's just so many points of friction that are reduced by using Alexa. Okay, so Raj, talk about the the integrations here and the technical aspects right. of how you put everything together and, and made it work, and then yeah. we'll get into some of the, the cloud yeah. aspects. We, at, at launch, we are asking users to tell what they want, and they can tell the whole address. They can get the address from the Alexa device, or if it is Alexa Auto, the GPS will provide us the uh, lat and the long. And uh, we take that address, and we get what kind of experience they want, whether if it is a flat tire, we're going to send somebody else to put the spare. If it is a jump start, we're going to put uh, send, send somebody to jump start their vehicle. So depending on that, we put pull all that information together, get this consent um, for the user to uh, charge their Amazon uh, credit card on profile and then go. So it's literally two, two sentences and then we are on, <laughs> 
we are on to sending you experience with SMS text messages that will allow you to truck, uh, track a truck coming down uh, to your driveway. Now I'll show my age. So, you know, we've all, I don't know what we've all, but I've been locked out of the car many times now in the old days, you used to be able to get a coat hanger and pop it <laughs> open. But, but so, so do, do people still get locked out of their cars? Yes. <laughs> get locked out of their cars. More often than not, it's, you know, the key fob stopped working, right? Lost the battery in my key fob these days, but it's the equivalent. Right, right. So, all right, so Raj, what else do you guys do in the cloud? Do you use AWS for your own business? Uh, yes. Maybe share with us some of the activities. So, um, over the years, over the past seven, eight years, we have uh, integrated and got all of our uh, technologies into the uh, AWS cloud. And we have now revamped and re-innovated on top of those and created new product lines. We have uh, accident scene management. We do um, uh, handle automatic crash notifications for uh, some of our partner customers. We do um, uh, dealer um, service appointments. So we do a lot of these things and all of these are not possible without the amazing teams, 20 or so teams that we have across three continents working on 50 plus uh, approved services on AWS, uh, innovating around the clock, bringing these new innovations to our market. So Beth, you were saying earlier that you, you know, want to reach out to the consumer. I mean, how do you market? Uh, you, you obviously go through, through partners and I'm curious as to how, what's your go to market and, and maybe how you're different from, from others in the marketplace. Right. Um, so again, because we're a white label with most of the client side business that we do, we um, help our clients message better. Um, and so we talk to them about how often you have to remind people that this isn't a one and done. Um, on the skill store for Alexa, you know, how we're different is, you know, you don't, as much as I love the branding that we came up with with Blank Roadside, you know, you don't actually have to use it. You don't have to say, Alexa, open my Blank Roadside. You can just say, Alexa, help me with my flat tire, uh, which really helps helps cut out um, the fact that I actually need to market the brand like a traditional marketer would have had to. But our biggest problem is how do you market something to someone in that moment of need, right? How do I, how do I prime you to get you to think about it uh, way, way before you ever actually have the problem? And, and how do you charge for the service? Uh, so it's it's a flat fee um, and it's uh, better than what consumers would be able to get on their own, or at least we believe so. Um, but it is a flat fee for any kind of road service. So it's flat tire, it's dead batteries, it's winching you out. You know, it's, it's all of those things um, that can happen to you that are just kind of those minor everyday mishaps. Okay. And so, and so do I, well, how do I get it? Do I, do I have to, Hope that my, you know, if I'm leasing a car that the, the auto has it, can I go direct? Uh, how do I? It's all apply? direct. It's all direct. So you don't have to worry about an ID number or a membership number. Um, you're just paying for it out of your Amazon account. Um, and, you know, you don't have to worry about a, knowing your, how many digit VIN number, you know, none of that stuff. It's just one and done. Awesome. So Raj, I wonder if you could talk a little bit about your, your scale. Um, maybe, I don't know if you can share any metrics and, and what, yeah. what factors the cloud generally and AWS specifically has, has mm -hmm. played in, in enabling that scale. Yeah, we, we have um, an amazing number of integrations with our Fortune 100 insurance companies, um, over 35 insurance companies, and uh, we have 170 B2B clients today. Um, and we integrate with them, we are deeply, um, uh, integrated into their billing systems, into their coverage systems. And uh, all of that is to be able to provide that sub minute, sub second experience to our customers when they are calling in, uh, when they need the service. Um, right now we do oh, over a billion API calls as a result of these transactions, uh, of these integrations over, per quarter. And um, all of these, uh, in, um, our uh, third party service providers who go around the, um, on the roads and provide this location information to their, of their tow trucks to us. All of these 8,000 8, or so trucks stream that information to us almost on every hour. So we bring all that information together on the AWS platform, stream it back, share it back in a very secure private manner back to the customers right at the moment of need. Yeah, so I mean, without the cloud, you'd be backing up you know, the, the servers, <laughs> the, the truck to the loading dock and, it would just take so much longer to, to spin up new products. I would imagine 
that you guys have a lot of ideas about new data products or new services that you can, you can provide. Um, you probably, I'm sure you can't tell us what they are, but, but, but in terms of the time it takes you to conceive, to, to get to the market, that must be compressed with the cloud, I would imagine. Yeah, it, it's, it's a fraction of what it used to take years ago when we were not in AWS, right? And it also allows us to not to spend all this time on worrying about the same things that you used to worry about for every project. Now you can actually think about how, what, how you would let, be able to leverage new innovations that are coming in and actually improve, improve the experience with some kind of intelligence that is added on, which makes the experience much smoother for people. Well, Beth, we'll give you the last word, but first of all, thanks for, for helping us make our lives even, even better and more convenient, but uh, bring us home. What's the last word here? So, so the last word is, you know, we do we do 12 million events a year right now, right? And if you if you like math, it's 35,000 a day, it's 24 every minute, you know, and the work that, that Raj and team have done to make this scalable means we're ready to do the next 12 million. Um, and, you know, we know we know there are consumers out there having those events. And we just want to be there for you, you know, take care of that frustrating event and, and get you back on the road. Well, it's just, uh, you know, having you there and being able to push a button and talk to a device is just, it's a game changer. So thanks you guys for coming on theCUBE and, and sharing your story, really interesting. Absolutely. Glad to be here. All right, Thank and thanks for watching. Keep it right there. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of AWS reInvent 2020. We'll be right back right after this short break. Mm -hmm.